Welcome back for another week of Clovis Corner. I want to give a shout out to all of you from last week. I've noticed a huge change in the hallways. A lot of you aren't using your phone, a lot of you even haven't put away. Some of you might have them out, but I've only had to remind a couple of you to get off of them. So I, I greatly appreciate that. One thing I have noticed though, that we still have a lot of students that have earbuds or ear pods in their ears. Um, but I think that'll get better as we go. But, so I just want to give you guys a shout out after our last video and you guys really trying hard to cut down that usage in the hallway. I hope to see that in the classroom too. I haven't talked to any of the teachers yet, but I hope they're getting a similar response. So keep up the great work. We need to have a brief conversation about what I see going on at lunchtime. I know a lot of you hang out with each other. A lot of you are close friends. And you do a lot of things outside of school. However, that's outside of school. And I understand many times you're probably not wearing masks when you're hanging out after school. Unfortunately though, we are responsible for what goes on during school. And I understand during lunch you're sitting with four people. Some of you are sitting at a single table. Uh, it's not what you really want to do. It's not what we really want you to do. We, we'd much rather have all eight of you sitting at a table, being with your friends, going like it was back in the day, like two years ago, when you could go and converse with your friends at different tables. Um, you could go hang out and talk to each other and so forth. Um, I know that that's the way it used to be. And I know some of you probably are like, well, I hang out with them after school. So if I get quarantined, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm, I hang out with them at sc after school, so I'm going to be quarantined there. Um, we can't control what goes on after school. Unfortunately, we, we, are, we can control what goes on at school, and we are responsible. Like I said earlier, we are responsible for you at school. So I am asking, I'm pleading with you guys to please stay in your seats. Don't change seats, okay? We'll change seats at the end of the first quarter where you guys can sit amongst other students. But right now, I really need you guys to focus on staying in your seats, staying where you're supposed to be. When you're finished eating, put your trays away, come back and have a seat at your table. Don't stop off at someone else's table, even if you hang out with them after school without masks. We need you, while you're here at school, we need you to be following the expectations for contact tracing, and trying to keep you guys out of quarantine and so forth. So please, after you leave to go put your stuff up, make sure you're wearing your mask after you're done eating. Don't go visiting other tables, all right? I have been seeing that. I really want that to cut down to where we're not doing that. Um, we will, as the weather gets nicer, I know a lot of you, we kind of did this at the high school. Some of you are like, oh, it's too hot, but we've allowed you to go outside. When we you have that time for you to go outside, that's when you guys can go mingle amongst your friends without your masks. You can have a little bit of mask break, but you can talk to those people that you normally would talk to that are at a different table. Um, hopefully the weather will be cooling down so it'll be a little bit nicer and we can give that opportunity to you again here in the near future. But that's the time when you guys can go out and talk with other people from different tables, all right? So from right now, here on out, I want you guys to try to stay at your tables. Don't go sitting at different tables. Don't go moving and don't go visiting other tables as you're dropping off your trays, okay? I greatly appreciate it. One last thing I'd like to talk to you this week in Clovis Corner is about a new program that I have for our student drivers who use the parking lot to park. And that is called the Courteous Cougar. Each week, I'm going to be watching the drivers when they're in the parking lot, seeing who's being courteous to each other, who's allowing their people out in front of them, um, they're, they're stopping when there's students that need to cross, um, they're being polite, they're driving nicely and safely in the parking lot, and they're not playing really loud music. Um, each week, I'm going to be keeping my eye out for students that meet these qualifications. If you are selected as a courteous cougar, you are going to get a park in a nice parking spot right up front, right next to Mr. Kloba, and you'll be able to park there for two weeks. All right, so you'll be considered the courteous 
Cougar and you'll get a park front row parking spot that you'll get to park in for two weeks. Um, and that's kind of a little bit of reward for being safe in the parking lot, being courteous to, you, to others, and just being a good driver overall. All right, so I'm out there in the morning. I'm usually out there after school. I'm gonna be make, take, making mental notes. I'm gonna be writing them down when I get inside about some observations I see of students that are meeting these, these qualifications. And then at the end of the two weeks, I'll pick someone else that who's being a courteous, dri or courteous driver or a courteous cougar, all right? So look out for the next Clovis Corner for me to announce our first courteous cougar, all right? Be safe drivers out there. Also, always remember, if you ever have any questions or concerns, you can email me at kcloba at IlliniCentral.org. Right, I'm always looking for some suggestions that you'd like to see in Clovis Corner. Um, I'd also like to answer any questions that you might have about the dress code, any questions that you might have about the student handbook, and so forth, all right? Um, I know one last thing as we're, as we're leaving this week, I just want you to remember to make sure that you're keeping your mask up above your nose. If you hear me yell out, hey, let's do a mask check in the hallway, that's not me calling out any single individual. I just see a lot of you maybe with your mask slipping down below your nose. And it's just a friendly reminder to everyone, hey, check your mask. If it's below your nose, pull it up, all right? So if you hear me say, mask check, just check your mask and do what you need to do, all right? Other than that, have a great week, and I'll be back in two weeks to talk to you about what's coming up next. Have a great day, and stay classy, Illini Central.